Dear friends in Christ, St. Catherine of Siena once said that nothing great is ever achieved without much enduring. To the administration and leaders of O'Connell community, to all who participated in this project, with God's grace, after much enduring, lots of patience and perseverance, you have achieved something great in giving this school community such a beautiful chapel in honor of our Blessed Mother. I'm so thankful to all the members of the leadership group, to all who participated in this project, especially the builders, the architects, so many people, members of my diocesan team, so great to see them in such good number here today, along with Dr. Vorbach, our superintendent, the leadership of the Sisters Servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary and our sisters, all to, to rejoice in this day that God gives us. And a special word of thanks uh, to the Murphy family. Uh, thank you for your tremendous generosity in honoring your parents in such a beautiful way. I cannot help but to believe that they are looking down upon you today with such pride and joy that you would do this for them. And I pray for them and their eternal peace and happiness at the Mass we will celebrate at the altar today. The church gives us such a beautiful ceremony. The words that we hear when we bless a new church or chapel. And what happens is that this chapel, this altar, through these blessings and prayers, they come to life today. And that's why I think we're able to echo those words of the prophet Nehemiah in the first reading. Today is holy to the Lord your God. And may I add, it is also a very proud moment and day for the Diocese of Arlington. In the gospel today, I believe that the Lord asks one of the most profound questions in all of sacred scripture. It's a question he asked his disciples, and it's a question really I think he asks us each day. But who do you say that I am? And that question demands a response. And I think that the building of this chapel allows us to reflect our answer as we echo the words of St. Peter. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Dear friends, that is the truth that is taught, proclaimed, and preached every day here at Bishop O'Connell High School. When you think about it, it's the reason that our school exists. So that every day, no matter what subject area, no matter what part of the building we're in, we are able to share with our students that Jesus is alive and with us to invite them to encounter him, to turn to him in their time of need, to become, as St. P- Paul says today in the second reading, living stones, meaning that from this building and nourished with God's word and Eucharist, we become those living stones who build up the kingdom of God through our charitable outreach and care and concern for others, especially those in most need, helping them to see the face of Christ. As you all know, our Catholic schools throughout this diocese and really throughout our nation have done a superb job this past year in finding a way to keep our schools open, 
in allowing our students to come together at least in some form each day with their safety and health and well-being as our top priorities. We are so grateful that in the midst of all of these challenging days this past year, our students were able to, be remem to remember that Christ, the Son of the living God, was in our midst, there to deliver us, there to help us, and there to protect us. I would like to refer to this chapel as the heartbeat of the school, from which everything we do will flow. Because it's here in this chapel that the Word of God will be preached and proclaimed in all of its beauty. It is here that the sacraments will be celebrated, especially the sacrament of penance, God's forgiveness and mercy, the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the Eucharist, that unites us as brothers and sisters in Christ. A place where in the midst of very demanding responsibilities and work for our teachers and our students, they would be able to come into this chapel just to be silent, just to be still, just to be renewed, even for a few moments before they continue the rest of their day. Through the generosity of the Murphy family, we have this chapel, this campus ministry center, and the goodness of so many, we, we are so, so deeply thankful to you. It's a special gift, isn't it? But it will only be the gift it is meant to be this chapel if these doors are wide open and every day administrators, faculty, students, and members of the community come in here to be with the Lord. May all of us assume the responsibility this coming academic year in a very intentional way to invite our students to do exactly that. Invite them, bring them into this chapel where they can be reminded of the Lord's love and find the strength and consolation and help they need. How beautiful that this chapel is dedicated to our Blessed Mother under the title of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in memory of your beloved parents for whom we pray. Like your parents, I think Our Lady is also looking down upon us. And it's very proud of us today for what we have done for the glory of God. And we pray that through her powerful intercession, we will renew our commitment here at O'Connell every day to teach and to proclaim through our words and our deeds that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is with us today and always. Amen.